any election outcome for granted. <coughs> He's defining the context of the election now. He's talking about surplus and deficits and economic performance. Um, I, I'm just waiting to hear him say environment and sustainability and reconciliation, republic. Um, uniting our community. Look, he's just attacking his opposition. So all this stuff about earning respect, I mean, what about his vision? What's his vision? I think we've had a leadership vacuum in this country for a number of years. Kim Beasley has a better notion of what is right uh, and what is ethical and what is important for um, uh, Australia. And I think in that respect he has a bit of vision uh, for the country. Um, but there are elements missing in that vision. And what of predictions that Democrats' leader, Meg Lees, will lose her seat and that Senator Scott Despoir will move into the top job? And that's something that I've never ruled out. But it's not actually the be-all and end-all. And uh, it's more important to have an effect on the system and on the community and on people's lives that is positive and beneficial than actually worrying about getting to that next step. I think it's a great uh, danger for... Uh, Senator Stott Despoir, that, that people's expectations of her will be so great that it, it'll be very hard for her to live up to them. I'm not from the Democrats, but I'm a great supporter of you personally, I must say. And Hugh Mackay says Australians long for a female leader. Because of that, he says, there's a spurious talking up of anyone likely, which inevitably evaporates. What people are saying, and this is why the burden on a successful woman is so heavy in politics, what they're saying is we don't just want a woman to be there in a sense symbolically representing all the women. We want a woman to be there to change the nature of the political process. We want to see feminization of politics. We want less of the sort of macho little boy playground games that go on, for example, in question time. There is still a curious, almost intuitive sense that in such circumstances, women would behave better than men. Discontent with the standard of political leadership has become so intense that many are looking closer to home for inspiration. What qualities do your school captains show that you think perhaps are lacking in our political leaders? I think what they lack is the same sense of responsibility. Um, I think it's the fact that they're not looking to do what's the best for everyone. It's more of a, a money issue or a power issue, profile issue. It's not about actually caring about the role.